If a friend hurts you, you run to your wife. But if your wife hurts you, who do you run to? Baba, God there. You run to God. If you know, you know. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Omo Yoruba nation, a notable king and drama. When we own your fifa remove his hand for drama, that is the question of another day. The missions of the Oloris in the palace is to scatter, is to collect and to inherit. If you know, you know. We are saying all this with our full chest too. Hey, hey. Naomi's son and Kabi AC marriage are the only authentic one. Any other one is RNG. You see that these women are beginning to succeed. They are beginning to allow Kabi AC. They are beginning to eat, in, eat, eat into Kabi AC. Anyway, that is not the matter of my brothers, my sister, family members. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you are watching me from, I appreciate you guys. Is your favorite baby girl, Zoe and Nita on the microphone. If you are new, Gay, gay, I appreciate you. To my returning subscribers, thank you so, so much. Eleve uh, traditional rulers, yes, so the gang gang of the gang, gang the elder council, they've marched to the palace, say that they, they have to disown Ashley and her son. You will not ask what is the matter. Kilo, Shele, Gong, Gong, go, if you will ask so. Hey, hey, hey. The problem of what Shele is that, you remember they wrote, they sent a letter to Ashley, Toby Phillips and Naomi, that they want to see them on the 13th to 23rd of this month, Abby, when they'll be doing the one festival, and that they want all of them to come. And when they send you such a message, you need to respond. They say Toby says she's everly available. She's actually the number one queen in the palace right now. She's available. Naomi said they should just remind her a day to that day so she will come. But they say Ashley is saying she cannot leave. She's not coming. So the elders are very, very angry. The elders are in so much anger. They are very, very angry that Ashley should not come back to the palace again. If Ashley did not come on that day, she set to appear in the palace. That that will be the beginning and the end of her cry if she does not do the needful. Because then they are tired of all this thing they are doing. That Ashley will come. That she cannot beat about tradition. Besides, she is a calabash carrier. That that is if truly she has been doing the calabash carrying work with her full chest. Yes, if she has been doing the calabash carrying work with her full chest. When the uh, when the when the when the prince or when the shrine demand of you, you should be able to come and answer. But this one that she does not want to come and answer, they just realize that she has something to hide. She has something off her sleeve to hide, and they are not going to take it anymore but the question is only of if for how long will you continue to be like this uh -uh. if kabiesi really want peace in his cap in his palace kabiesi should hand over everything to these honest elders you understand let him just let's say you go and walk things out with his women and they should just leave the palace maybe go to another state like zamfara kaduna <laughs> They should just go to the north. They should just go and stay somewhere. Once they sort out the matter, they will come back. At least the palace will have peace. Because they nobody understand. Hmm? The shrine is there and they are still polluting the palace. Why? What is the result in, since today? Today they will cleanse. Tomorrow they will cleanse. Every day they want to cleanse palace. The question we are asking, have they gotten a, a, a reasonable result? No. And, and we are still formatting the palace. As if we are still forma formatting the palace. For how long are we going to continue formatting the palace like this? My brothers, my sister, the needful need to be done, no. I'm telling you guys like this. If KPSC is not willing to do the needful, then the elders, they should tell him the truth. And they say the truth with what? A stitch in time saves nine. Now, the elders have said that if only know what is good for him and his ebony beauty, that he should tell her to come. That if she did not come, they will take an action that people will think they've had beef for, beef for 10 years. They will take a drastic action and that action will come as a shock to everybody in Yoruba kingdom. And it will not be favorable at all. That time nobody will beg. Now they are begging her to come. She's feeling like Don Jazzy. She's feeling like nobody can do anything. She's untouchable. But when it will happen, at that point she will know that they are more than untouchable. You understand? Ah, Ashley, please, oh, hmm. Anyway, now them, them, they know how to sort themselves out. I've said it and I've said it over again. Ashley is a loudspeaker. All she's after is what is inheritance. 
Give it to her, let her go, Abi, so that the palace can be peaceful. After all, KBC have played. KBC money is long. Don't say money long. KBC money is long. The elders, not just elders, so the custodian of culture, they marched to the palace today and said hmm, they will do something that Ashley will regret for the rest of her life. And that is something they did not want. You understand? Uh -uh. Even Kel Toby Phillips, that is stubborn, is saying she's going to come. Talk less of Ashley that know the culture. Is she not the one that is supposed to be championing the I will come, I will come? But everybody are so shocked all of a sudden. Her Ashley just kept quiet. Things that she, normally she will not keep quiet. All of a sudden she just kept quiet. Like what you guys get? So my brothers, my sisters, though, it's not a small matter. I'm just feeling for Ashley now. Please, you are a Kalabash carrier. Come and show them that truly you are a Kalabash carrier. Because if like I say politics don't the enter, gay gay. Hey, hey. Because right now, the elders, the custodian of the culture, are actually saying that things happening in the palace right now is still a mystery to them. They don't know where to start from. They don't know where to go. But they say when Kabiesi cited them, that Kabiesi came out and he was talking to them. But they were telling Kabiesi that elders cannot sit down and watch the palace burn. Because when the palace burn, the rebuilded one will be more beautiful than the old one. But they cannot just stay and watch it burn. And that is why they've come to do the needful. And since Ashley is saying that they should go through Kabiesi, now they've come to go through Kabiesi Abi. Because the first one, the letter they wrote was still through Kabiesi because it was Kabiesi letter headed paper that they use. So all this one they are saying, come and go through Kabiesi. They don't understand. You understand? And she's saying that. She's not coming back. That is not possible and all that. My brothers, my sisters, things they saw, bro. Things they saw. So right now, the Lefe elders say they just want the, the name of, uh, of the palace to be clear. That they are tired of people staining Ilefe, you understand? And some people are saying Ashley case is different because she's a blue blood and she can do things and get away with it. But people are saying no. They all... They all have blue blood right now because KBAC is already sharing blue blood to everybody. So, what people are saying, uh, Ashley can actually still get away with it. But we don't know how true that is. But please put your comment in the comment section below. But me, what I'm trying to say is, so any blue blood we commit any crime can get away with it, Abby? Eh? Because I don't understand why they are saying because she's a blue blood. But anyway, Sha, we are, I stand to be corrected. Anyway... Um, the others have said, they say KBSC has been shaking ever since because trouble has been coming from left, right, and center. KBSC doesn't even know where to start from. Not just Ashley, that Ashley's son will also appear at the shrine. So it's two in one. But whatever it is, we are here for it. If you know, you know. Because they are saying tomorrow now, Miriam, Tope, Elizabeth, Ronke, they will all do their own and there will be no difference. So it's better for them to just uh just do the needful now you understand and at the end of the day we just know that it's naomi's spirit that is making them to go gaga the god of naomi is at work if you know you know okay guys please put your comments in the comment section below see you guys later peace out